Now, all 70 New Mexico House seats are on the ballot tonight. While Democrats have a commanding majority in the House, holding 45 seats to the GOP's 24, Republicans have been battling to pick up some seats they lost during the blue wave of 2018. And one of those is District 32, which covers Grant, Hidalgo, and Luna counties. This seat could flip tonight. Democrat Candy Sweetser is in a fight for her seat that she's held since 2017 with Republican Jennifer Jones and Sweets are right now in a dead heat with Jones. But Dems could be flipping this seat covering parts of for Rio, Rio, Rio Rancho rather in Corrales with Kathleen Cates in the lead over Republican incumbent Jane Powdrell Colbert. You look this at this race and Cates has a double, almost a double digit lead, a double digit lead it looks like here in this race. Here in Albuquerque, all eyes on the Northeast Heights race as well. Democrat Pamela Herndon was appointed to this seat Republican Nicole Chavez was hoping to turn the seat red, but she was, uh, in terms of fundraising, well behind in this race. In an area which leans Republican, it looks tonight like Herndon will win this one. Also in the Heights, Democrat incumbent Natalie Figueroa in the lead over Republican Kirsten Johnson. This had been a Republican seat for 20 plus years until 2018. This race being called already with a 10 point margin for Figueroa. And Northwest Albuquerque, so far, it is staying blue with Democrat Cynthia Borrego in the lead. You can see it's a little tighter throughout the night, but it looks like she will take this open seat. And in District 68, Democrat Charlotte Little and Republican Robert Moss in a tight race for an open seat that covers far northwest Bernalillo County. As you can see, this one in a dead heat now. Now, this was a seat that... Uh, Karen Bash held, but she did not seek re-election, so this one in a dead heat tonight. We'll keep an eye on it.